after its emergence for the first time in 1976, the Ebola virus disease re-emerged recently from the forests of southern Guinea and then spread to the capital after an infected patient traveled there. Since then, reports say 122 persons have been infected with at least 78 dead in Guinea from the incurable disease which symptoms start to show within 2 to 21 days. Liberia has confirmed a couple of cases. As a result, Senegal has closed its land borders. Although disturbing rumors of an emergence in neighboring Ghana unsettled Nigerians, the country is yet to issue any preventive measure, just as the public awareness level remains low. I have never heard of Ebola. You are just mentioning it to me now. The disease, which symptoms include emission of bodily fluid, diarrhea, vomiting and bleeding can be contracted through contact with such bodily fluids or contaminated materials. However, a major concern for Africans is the fact that the disease is reported to have originated from and is still most readily contacted through consumption and contact with game meat or bush meat as you may know it. While the Federal Ministry of Health insists there is not a single case of the Ebola virus disease in Nigeria, it has deemed it fit to issue warnings to Nigerians to exercise caution on bushmeat hunting. It also requests that Nigerians report suspected cases to the nearest medical centers. But then, staying off bushmeat will not come easy as rural dwellers still meet their economic and dietary needs daily through trading in bushmeat. But despite warnings about precautionary methods that should be adopted, game meat continue to find their way from rural areas to urban locations. Antelopes, rabbits, bush pig, bats, leopards, you name it, eat killed either by guns, poisons or other means, once transported to Ikorudu in Lagos and processed by local women, costs between 3,000 and 8,500 naira. That ranges between $19 to $52, depending on the size. Tina has been trading in bush meat gotten from hunters for several years, but maintains she has never heard of the word Ebola. Hunters go to the villages, Adokuta, Agowi, Ore, to kill the bush meat. This is not the type they cook. It's the original, smoked ones. Ebola? I've never heard of such. She simply has no idea what danger her honest trade may now pose to her consumers who come from all walks of life if the Ebola virus makes its way to Nigeria. Just last week, the director, Center for Disease Control, Professor Abdul Salami Nasidi, while speaking on preventive measures, said, I am cautioning on the hunting of bushmeat and processing it. Those who eat smoked bushmeat and not the cooked one might get the virus. While his comment may sound agreeable, Vivian Madueke, a food health expert who runs a blog where she advocates food health, is worried that thorough cooking may not prevent infection. You may have cooked it very well, but what about the cops? that touch the food? What about the utensils that touch the food or the plate? There's a possibility that maybe while chopping on the chopping board, you cook it and then the spoon you used to eat was placed on the cutting, bo on, on the cutting board and then you use it to eat. Automatically you get the virus. So it's not really about cooking, it's about paying attention to the handling processes because you can cook it very, very well, but then due to carelessness, maybe you didn't wash your hands properly and then you cook and use your hands to eat it. You get the virus. She says there is an urgent need to create a nationwide awareness and impose cross-border controls in order to reduce panic and prevent an outbreak of the disease. The government, as much as possible in this time, should go to those rural areas and tell them the risk. It's a very risky time now, even aside the government. We as learned people who listen to the news, who, who probably, um, who listen to news, who read up um, this risk, we can call our mothers who are in the villages. 
But until policy restrictions are put in place by authorities, environmental and health experts argue that Nigerians must continue to take precautions on their own. Christopher Kukwola, TVC News, Lagos.